G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Next part to attach to the Matilda from Helicon Tex. This is the Helicon Tex Essentials pouch. It comes first with a shoulder strap, which you've probably seen in some of my other videos that I've been wearing it and I've been doing short a couple of hours walk or a day walk. It's I think it's about a 500 Cordora fabric which is really really nice and these buckles are really good buckles I like them good quality now you click in to the pouch nice and easy and it's a certain lock there the natural cordora comes up from the back and it's actually part of the shoulder strap so it's going to be nice and strong connected to the buckles so you know it's going to last a good while now i don't need these ones now because it's going on the pack so up comes the shoulder strap and we'll put that to one side and in between the pouch and the buckle there's a little space like a little pocket for all the buckles to be put down into to get them out the way now they're not going to be used the same on this side just tuck it in and it's out your way so a nice little d-ring there so if you wanted to just to hang it up on a tree on a branch somewhere or tie some cord and hang it up a nice good little extra there. You can see the molly strapping and the molly webbing and we've got one two three four rows of molly right next to each other but when it's attached to the pack I'm going to be using the top one because then it will go through the pack webbing then the third one and then it will tuck back on itself. And you can see yeah, nice little stiffener in that. And all that will be doing is tucking them underneath, just like that. And, it. and that's how secure it is, even without putting it through the webbing of the pack or to any extra webbing here. So yeah, possibility of losing this pouch when it's on your pack, very, very slim. It's all good quality as I've found that all of the Helicon Tex gear has been so far that I've had and exhibit to this it is part of their bushcraft range as you can see the little bushcraft tag there but at the back because it being the bushcraft range we've got another compartment here another pocket which you can put your knife in or as you can see the lap blender saw and the same as most of their pouches will come undone at the bottom pocket loop or your Velcro so if you've got an axe the axe will come through the bottom so I'll just pull some grass out then it'll been in from me using it so that'll come straight out the bottom again nice and secure do it off you really gotta whack that to make it come undone so let's get inside well before I get inside I've got a pocket on either side now I was, somebody asked me to show the contents of this, what I've been using it for. It's not very bushcrafty or entertaining because most of the time I was using it on the day walks when I was filming. So all that I had in the side was my uh, spare batteries, my cables, my spare SD cards and everything on the outside ones. Wasn't much there. On the inside I'll show you in a moment. Is that dirt or I scratched it? Bit of both. I'll show you in the, on the inside in a moment. We've got a nice little strap here where we've got some hook and loop around it so you can adjust it, make it longer or get it out of the way. The buckles, I'm trying to do this is awkward. Let's get this up. This one's a bit tight at the moment, but if you want to cinch, it'll cinch up nice and easy to release. There, we went that time. 
you got to give this one a little bit of a tug so I just think it's because it's fairly new and it hasn't worn in yet I'll show you on the pockets I've got a set of knife forks in here at the moment we've got a bit of power cord loop there so you can attach your keys to it so you don't lose them so you've got something to carry you've got a little mesh pocket to store bits and bobs in it zips they are I believe YKK they're pretty good zips they've got the dust proof and weather proof over it not waterproof they're just the weather proof but the chance of rain getting in there is minimalist it can get in but it's just minimalist so whatever you put you put in there it'll be protected say 99.9% I always have my electronics in the side pockets, they're in a waterproof Dyneema bag, so they're all protected, so if anything did get in there, that's okay. On this side, the same again. The rod, the in little mini infernos, the pocket, your cord loop, and your little expandable mesh pocket. Now what I've put in here is the canteen set from Pathfinder, the Dave Canterbury set and that's what all this is parts of, that's an extra one because it's a bit bigger the one that came with the actual set was a little bit shorter and I didn't really like it to be honest but now this can all go back in here and a little mesh pocket shove that there that back in, still got plenty of room for more stuff and I'll be straight up, where I got this from was Survival Supplies Australia and what they've done is they've combined the two, the Pathfinder set and the Helicontex Essentials pouch that you can buy as a set and that will give you the option of getting whatever colour Helicontex make you can get the pouch with these sets from the Pathfinder to match your pack so that's a positive so I'll put a link to that down below and everything else in here I'll put individual links to down below to Survival Supplies Australia. Now let's get inside shall we? Again, and buckles are nice, easy to open and close. Inside the lid we've got another expansion mesh pocket there which I used to have my batteries in. But now I've got another pouch in the pack which I'll be showing you in another video where I store all my batteries and all my cables and stuff like that. I'll still be using this pouch for something I'm going to mention in a moment. So let's undo that. A bit of bungee going down to the line lock. All good quality. Now I don't normally carry this in here because I use it for other things and I normally carry a different canteen and a different cup as well. This is just in here to show you what will actually fit in here without giving all the measurements and the whole lot. This is a 1.1 quart, is it? Or 1 quart, which is 1.1 litres canteen, which fits in there quite easy. And that sits inside. Let's get it all out. Side, which is a cup, a canteen, and a little fire stove for when you're cooking. At the back, we've got another pocket, and in there, I've got the lid. So, anything, all that fits in there, all that fits in there. The stuff out the side pocket fits in here with room to spare so it's not that small we've got plenty plenty of room in there the quality wise we've got there's a coating on the inside which will make it even more waterproof and more durable there's no other pockets except for that one at the back the 
so I can feel something then let's just see uh, the buckle on the bottom, bottom you've got a little drain hole uh, for any dust or if any water gets in there so it's not going to be sitting in the bottom and rotting anything if water does get in but the lid that's padded on the side so it's fairly stiff the top is padded also that's not the mesh that's behind the mesh that's all pad in there so it's extra lining the back the same down and lower not so much but if you wanted anything to go in there we can see that goes up to the stiffener that's on the back here so all the way across the back here where your straps are stitched on there's a reinforcement on the back so that's going to be nice and strong also and like I said all the stitching is all nice bar stitch I think they call it which is really good yeah that's, that's, it is a nice pouch so let's get it on the Matilda now and I'll show you how and where I'm putting it let's move all this first Okay, we saw, we've seen the pouch, uh, the pack, we've already added smaller pouches, the E and E pouch there. What else have I got? Yeah, I've got the uh, carabiners there, I've got my watch on there, my compass in there, drop pouch. All the actual pouches stitched on that came with the pack. And we've got this one side left, which I did strap my bedding roll down. But because we've got the loops on the bottom if I need to put my bedding roll down the side I'll just attach it to the bottom so it's going to go here now nice compression strap it's still going to get access because there's only two uh, Miley straps up here so like I said I'm going to put these through uh, the top one first, on both sides, then the top one on the back of the pouch. Then through the second webbing. to the third ribbon on the back of the pouch. On its side, make it easier for me. And then like I said, I'm just going to wrap these over and tuck it underneath the fourth row in the back of the pouch. That one in, and now this one. Pack slipping, but I'll get there. So here we go, just come through the third, over the fourth and behind it. That's going to go nowhere. Nice and secure now. So let's put everything back in. Oh, there's the lid. Put the lid back in the back. When I was using this for my electronics and I'll be using it for my power banks, I put my power bank in that back pocket there of the pouch and it fits nice. And I've got a couple, I've got 20,000 and I've got a 30, 35,000 I think it is. So it fits in really good. Oh, that's what I didn't show you. There's another small pocket at the front with the electric, uh, electric, the elastic webbing in there. There's two places to go down, and that starts right at the bottom, comes to here, and when that's pulled over, you've probably got a good 10 inches. 
and you can adjust it um, depending on what you put in there you can adjust the fit but there's very little chance of anything getting in this pouch from the sides either once you cinch it up and pull it over because it's good two inches overlap here and here and probably two and a half three inches at the front so whatever goes in there is going to be protected from the elements uh, honking at falling by the sounds of it on the roof but let's get this all back in here See it's closed this really tight around the top of the neck. Pop that up. Let's put my knife fork and quickly reset back in there. Can't lose it. And the laplander saw. Go back down the back here. Get it around the right way. Nice and secure. So that's the Helicon Tex Essentials Bushcraft Range pouch. Now I really, really do like it. The eh, that's it, is stiff. I've got to see if it will work better that way. Yep. I really do like it, but I've got to wear that bit in. I was about to say goes really well on the Matilda pack and like I said there's only one more addition I've made to this pack and I'll show you that in another video so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.